Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a bit of a one-off video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Heroes of Skyrim content in the Elder Scrolls Legends. Uh, this is a strategy card game that I actually like quite a bit. I'm a fan of uh, strategy card games, and as you can see here, I played a bit of this game once it released. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. I think it, it's a really solid game with a lot of cool cards and a lot of cool effects. And uh, we're basically going to be just taking a look at, like I said, the new content, Heroes of Skyrim, which is available now. If you guys want to check out this content for yourself, The Elder Scrolls Legends is completely free. Uh, click the link below in the description. It will be near the top. Click that link. Check it out. Um, they just released the Heroes of Skyrim content on June 29th. So at the time of this video going up, you are able to check out all this stuff. Now... Uh, this is a sponsored video. The people over at the Elder Scrolls Legends wanted me to tell you guys about this game. And thus, they've been nice and have sent me a bunch of card packs to open. And we're going to go ahead and, and open those up. Oh, look at this. I don't know what this thanks is for, but we got an extra three. That's cool. That, that, that's cool with me. All right, so let's see. If we hit the uh, over arrow here, these are our new Heroes of Skyrim packs. Um, and that's what we're focusing on today. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this one is. I kind of want to open it. What, what, what do you got for me? Nakreen Dragon Priest. Interesting. So this must be a new Heroes of Skyrim card. Okay, so um, basically if you're new to strategy card games, um, over here in the top left is the mana cost. We're going to have to spend that much of mana to cast or to uh, play Nakreen. Um, and that's nine. I believe uh, this game's mana or magicka cost is uh, ten at max. I forget if it goes over or not. We'll see shortly enough. Um, so you obviously can't cast this until much later into the game. Uh, uh, also, this little scroll, the Elder Scroll, if you will, on the top indicates that it's like a legendary card. Also, this like uh, little golden jewel down here. So it's a skeleton, which is its tag. Certain things might affect skeleton cards. And then it has a five attack and a five defense. And when we summon it, draw a card and reduce its cost to zero. Interesting, that sounds pretty strong. All right, we're gonna grab that, put it in our collection. Uh, uh, yeah, I like you. Okay, thank you. You can leave now, Nakreen. Uh, now let's open up the packs that, again, the people over at the Elder Scrolls Legends have been nice enough to send me. We got 12 to open. Let's see what we get, shall we? Okay, I like to open up the Elder Scrolls Legends uh, packs like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what did we get here? We got one common, two common, three commons, and three rares. Uh, the blue jewels indicate a rare. The white jewels indicate a common. Um, so, let's take a look at the rares. Encumbered Explorer 2-3. That's like a 2-3 body, so 2 attack and 3 defense. 1 mana to cast, or to cast, sorry. Uh, 1 magicka, I mean. Shackle encumbered explorer after he attacks. Aha! So I see. I was going to say, 1 mana, which means you can... Uh, 1 magicka, uh, which means that you can cast this on turn 1. Um, but he's overstatted for that. He has 2 attack and 3 defense. So that's overstatted. So that must mean that he has a negative. And indeed, when he attacks, he's shackled. Which means that he can't attack the next turn. So you basically uh, lose out on the next turn. But you get a, a bit of bonus strength on the first turn. Um, then we have Imperial Camp. Which is a support card. Which means it's sort of like... Uh, you, it's just kind of like a, a, an effect card. You know, it's not a, a minion. It doesn't have an actual body on it. Um, summon put... A 1-2, so that's one attack, to defense. Septum Guardsman with guard. Guard means that enemies have to attack him first into your hand. Friendly guards have plus one attack and plus zero defense. All right, and we have Karth Spire Scourge. Uh, by the way, as you can probably tell, this expansion adds all of the characters that we know and love from Skyrim. Um, we have dragons, of course. We have uh, a whole bunch of different legendary cards, including dragon priests, as you saw with Nakreen. Uh, there's just a ton of them, and there's abilities, there's shouts, there's a whole bunch of different stuff, and hopefully we get a, a, a myriad of cards to take a look at. So Karth Spire Scourge is a dragon, 4-4, four, four, summon, give all enemy creatures in this lane, negative one damage. Okay, that's pretty good too.
Alrighty, so let's take a look at some of our new cards. Uh, this expansion, the Heroes of Skyrim, adds over 150 new cards to play. Uh, and we got a ton of them. And you can check, basically, if we right-click, we've got the little Heroes of Skyrim icon down here. Um, so, very cool. Uh, also, there's a whole bunch of different new mechanics that they've added, uh, including shouts and, like I said, dragons. And, uh, yeah, let's just take a look at some of these. We've got Stormcloak, a bunch of different Stormcloaks. Stormcloak Avenger, uh, Inspiring Stormcloak, Blades Lookout. Okay, so the red uh, sort of class, I don't know what to call it, um, is usually, like, the more aggressive one from what I can tell with my time with this game. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Strength. And then we've got Intelligence. Uh, I typed in new, by the way, up here, so that's showing me all of my new cards. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it would make sense that the Greybeards are in the Intelligence section. Uh, we've got a Dragon's Fury. This was the card that I was referring to before. Mistvale Enchanter. Let's take a look at everything. Very nice. Okay. There's our Nakreed, which we'll definitely make use of. Okay. Looks like Nakreen is actually in the base game, because it says core down here. All right, let's move on. So one really cool thing about this expansion is that they've added like five pre-constructed decks. If you're new to the game, if you don't really know how strategy card games works, uh, strategy card games work, uh, you can buy one of these pre-constructed decks and it seems like they give you one for free. We got Parthenax's Roar, which is cool because he will live on in our deck since he's dead in my let's play. Uh, we have Ancanos Conspirators. Ayla's Companions, Alduin's Apocalypse, and Brynjolf's Agents. And you can buy these. You don't have to actually spend real money. They're all 500 coins. I don't even think you can buy them with real money, actually. Yeah, it looks like you can only buy them with coins. Um, so you can get coins from playing the game, and you can buy one of these pre-constructed decks. So we are going to test out the one that was given to us. And that is Parthenax's Something. Uh, we can take a look at it now before we jump into a game. So over here on the right, these are our decks. I used to play with these three uh, over here. But we have Parthenax's Roar, which, as you can see with these two icons, utilizes strength cards and also the green arrow cards. I forget what these are called. Dexterity or something like that. Agility. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and click this and see what we've got. Okay, so Drain Vitality, give an enemy creature... So this is a shout, and you can see it says level 1. So yeah, shout. When you play a shout, all your other copies are upgraded. Oh, that's so cool. I really love how they did this. Uh, and by the way, this is a sponsored video, but all of my enthusiasm is genuine. I'm really into strategy card games and strategy games uh, as a whole. So I really, really, really like this new mechanic here. Shout. When you play uh, a shout, all your other copies are upgraded. So we've got three copies you can see over here. Um, so... At level 1, give an enemy creature negative 1, negative 1, which is negative 1 attack and negative 1 defense. And then, so once we do that, our other copies are upgraded to level 2, which is negative 2, 2. And then, once we do that, all our copies are upgraded to level 3, give an enemy creature 2, 2. Oh, why is this the same thing? It says level 2, give it uh, negative 2, negative 2. Level 3, give it nev uh, negative 2, negative 2. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a design choice that I'm just not seeing. We also have Rapid Shot, deal one damage to a creature if it survives, draw a card. Oh, that's interesting. So it has like a damage mechanic, damage an enemy, and then get something as long as it doesn't kill them. Ooh, a Word Wall, which is defense. It's guard, so you play it for one Magicka. Uh, and it has no attack, so it can't attack, but it has four defense, so they have to, you know, use something with four attack or a combination to take it down. And they have to attack because it has guard. Summon, upgrade a shout in your hands. Oh, that's cool. In your hand. You can't have multiple hands. Okay, that's super cool. We have Archer's Gambit, which is a split card. Uses strength and... Gosh dang it, really new... I wish... Uh, strength and agility. Okay, I was right. Agility. Archer's Gambit. Um, it's an action, so it's like you, you use it. It instantly affects the game. Move a friendly creature. Then it deals one damage. Move a friendly creature. Then it deals one damage. Does the creature deal one damage? Oh, oh, a friendly. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so you move one of your creatures, and then it deals damage. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not going to look at all these because that's going to take too long, but let's look near the end here. Oh, Parthenax. Wow, comes with a legendary. Okay, dragon. Well, there he is. There's there's the big dragon himself. 12 Magicka, 9-9, nine, nine, summon. Put three random shouts into your hand and reduce their cost to zero. Wow, okay. All right, th this is cool. I kind of want to just jump into it then. I don't really want to spoil what's in this deck uh, for myself. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I'm not a noob. 
to strategy card games, as I've been saying, but I haven't played The Elder Scrolls Legends in a while. But my god, with all this stuff that they've added with Heroes of Skyrim, I've been looking for that itch. I've been playing a lot of strategic games lately, not just card games, and I've been looking for something new to get into. I think this is going to make me play like more and more, especially because we got all those cards to play around with. Yeah, okay. So look forward to some new videos, maybe, and also some streams uh, coming up, by the way. All right, so Parthenax Roar. Let's do let's do casual to start off, uh, and we will just jump right into it. This is a pre-made deck, obviously, but you can make your own um, decks, of course. And like I said, they've added over 150 new Skyrim-themed cards with a bunch of new mechanics like the shout mechanic, which is way more flushed out, fleshed out than I would have thought. Oh, and that's cool too. They added like a background of Skyrim. Interesting. Okay, so we're fighting against this guy. He is using a willpower and endurance deck, which sounds more controlly to me. Uh, we need to pick which cards we're gonna keep in our hand. Let's see, let's, since I don't really know, uh, drain vitality is the shout. Do we have a timer here to pick? Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And we will redraw some cards. Okay, that looks good. We've got lesser Magicka cost cards here. Uh, less... Our, the cards that we read you cost less Magicka. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's his turn. He's going first. Basically, the goal of the game is to reduce this number right here down to zero. Um, every time you break a rune, which is like five points of damage, you break a rune... Uh, you get a card. I forget exactly how it works, but we'll definitely see. Also, there's two lanes. There's field lane, no special runes, uh, rules for the lane. And then there is the shadow lane. Creatures entering this lane gain cover and can't be attacked for one turn. What is this? Ring of Magicka uses three. Activate, gain one Magicka. Oh, cool. So they changed how that was. It used to be like potions. I like that a lot better now. All right, so basically, our first turn, we can't use our Shout, even though it's the only card that costs one, because there's no enemy creature to Shout at. Uh, but we could use the Ring of Magicka. It gives us one Magicka, so we could play something that costs two. We don't have anything to move. We don't have a Friendly Beast. But this, Prophecy Guard Lethal. Okay, let's go ahead and play this. So we'll click the Ring of Magicka. We get one extra Magicka. Thus, we can play the fighter, uh, Fighter's Guild... Recruit. We're going to place him in the shadow lane because he's got lethal, which means that he destroys any creature that he comes into contact with, even if it was the biggest creature ever, even if it was Parthenax, which this guy will not be able to play. This guy just passed his turn. I think we might have an easy win on our hands. Okay, let's see. Next, again, we can use the Ring of Magicka two more times. Move a friendly creature, then it deals one damage. So we could do that onto this, and we could move it, like, over here, and it would deal one damage. But I don't think that's smart. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and attack. And we're going to end our turn. Uh, so he just dealt one damage, because the number on the left is his attack. Um, and once we reduce this guy's number to 25... We open up one of these runes here, which, if I remember right, gives us a card. He's got, like, five of our cards right here. And... Okay, I need to pay attention here. What did he just put? No! Oh, he stole. Okay, so this guy is Penitus Oculatus Agent. Um, guard lethal, summon steal a creature's keyword. So he stole Prophecy, Guard, and Lethal from our card here. That's pretty good. Okay... Upgrade a shout in your hand. We could use word wall and upgrade drain uh, vitality. We could also use drain vitality. Actually, yeah, let's play the word wall over here. Now, since we summoned it, we can upgrade drain vitality to level two. And now we can make this guy. So we could use drain vitality on the Penitus Oculatus agent. Oh, cool animation. Oh, that's so cool. And now that reduces him to 0-1, which means we can kill him with this card. But since he had lethal... Oh, what happened there? He should have killed us because he had lethal. Maybe it's because we used Drain Vitality on him. Um, and I think that's all we really want to do. So we're going to end our turn now. Uh, keep in mind, these are all new cards to me. I wanted to give you guys sort of the blind, the new experience of opening the packs and testing out the new cards. Waters of life. Okay, what do we got here? Summon, gain one. Ah! Alright, so if stuff happens too fast, you can always look up here to see what just happened. 
Yeah, so we used Execute, destroy a creature with two power or less. That's actually a really good card to use on our word wall. Um, it just flat out killed it. And then here we've got Tree Minder, who's an Argonian. Summon, gain, plus one max magicka. That's pretty good, but we can kill him with our Argonian down here. So let's see. We have Shadow Scale Partisan. Partisan? Partisan? Lethal Summon plus zero, two, if you have another creature with lethal. Unfortunately, we do not. We also have Sightless Skulk, which is a Falmer. Draw a card if you have two other agility creatures. We have one, and that's it. So... Let's go ahead and kill this first of all. We could have actually used one of these cards to do that. And we will play... This one or this one? Draw a card if you have two other... We don't. We can't do that. We can't do this either. Um, I think we'll just play the... Uh, yeah, the Sightless Skull. Even though we won't get his summon effect. Uh, because we only had one other creature with agility. Which is, as you can see down here in the bottom left... All right. Hive Defender. I've seen that card before. 3-6 with guard, and that's his whole entire turn. Okay, let's take a look here. Earthbone, uh, Earthbone Spinner, Wood Elf. Summon, silence another creature, then deal one damage to it. Wow, that's pretty good. We could silence this and then, and then not have to worry about its guard. Let's see here. Or we could move a friendly creature, then it deals one damage. Um... We don't have another creature with lethal. Let's do this. Yeah, let's grab our Earthbone Spinner. Will not suffer your we'll silence that, removing its uh, guard and also dealing one damage to it. Now, should we trade? That is the question. I'm going to try... Uh, I'm Okay, no, we're just going to go for face. So that just broke a card. Oh, he gets the card. That's right. All right, cool. Chaos take you. That's right. It's all coming back to me now. So basically, um, he gets these cards as they're released. And it's a good strategy to not break some stuff if you don't want to instantly give him a card. Like, for instance, reduce him down to 26. That way he doesn't get the uh, thing on his turn. And then once you have a lot of damage, then reduce him to 25 so he gets one of the rune cards. Okay, what do we have here? Sheer Point Dragon. Summon, give a creature negative two, negative two. When you reduce a creature's power or health with another effect, reduce it by an extra one. Interesting effect there. Okay. So we could do that on this, and I think it would kill him? I'm not exactly sure if it works like that, but it would uh, it would reduce his uh, sort of defense to one. Or we could use it on this, reduce it to four. Let's just go for that. We'll play the Sheer Point Dragon. We'll reduce this guy. Now he's down to four, and we can go ahead and trade and kill it off. I'm not sure if I'm making intelligent trades or uh, or not here, but I'm just learning. It's fun. Wow, that's a big dragon. Okay. What does this card do? When you summon a dragon, Cliffside Lookout gains 1-1. One, one. Aha. He just dropped a big 7-7 seven, seven dragon that regenerates, so it heals. But we have Dova of the Voice, which is a dragon. Last, gaps, uh, last gasp. Put a random shout into your hand. So last gasp is when this card dies, it gives us something or it does something. In this case, it gives us a random shout. Hmm. Well, we can't kill this card. I... We're, we're in a bad position, but what we could do is move this. And so that moves it to the other lane, and then we deal one damage. That's pretty good, I think. And then we also have Shadow Scale Partisan, but we don't have another creature with lethal, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and play this guy anyways, because he will uh, attack this the name. in the next the turn. Will end. Oh, no, he has lethal, so he can flat out kill this. All right, and then we're going to attack... Unfortunately, because we're dealing four damage, he's going to get another rune card. Um, so, again, I'm not sure if that's that smart or not. Because he has the card advantage now. He has six cards to my two. And that's really not a good position to be in. Okay, what just happened here? He used a card called Devour. 
No! He he wiped my board. Uh, I don't think we're going to win this, ladies and gentlemen. See, he just dealt seven damage to us, so we got a card. We got two cards, actually. Okay, let's take a look at what he did here. Devour, which is an action card. Destroy a creature with four power or less and give it and give its keywords to a random dragon in your hand. Oh, man. That is a... Wow, that's a really good card. Okay, that's really unfortunate. And then he killed our Shadow Scale with Crushing Blow. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Murkwater Witch, which is a goblin. Guard, summon, give a creature, negative one, negative one. That won't really um, do much for us. We also have Unrelenting Force, good old Fusro Da. Unsummon an enemy creature with three power or less. Level three, unsummon all enemy creatures in a lane. Wow, that's really powerful. Unsummon an enemy creature. We want to upgrade this if we can. Okay. Dova of the Voice. <sighs> Let's go for... Shearpoint Dragon. And... We're going to reduce the Iron Scale. Let's see if we can kill this. Oh, that does kill it. Nice. Okay. And we're going to drop our Murkwater Witch. Giving this thing negative one, negative one. Oh, but we... Oh, the synergy. That's right. Reduce it by an extra one. So because this card reduces this by negative one, negative one. But this card adds an extra negative one, negative one. This thing goes down to five. What is this card? Summon, give a friendly creature, drain this turn. Okay, so when a card has Drain, um, when it attacks, it also heals the uh, enemy for that amount. Oh boy, alright. This is this is a hard match. Uh, we can flat out kill this, but he's got... He's got the advantage here. We could also Unrelenting Force. No, we can't because nothing is um, three power or less. Move a friendly creature, then deal one damage. That's not really going to help us. Summon... Plus one, plus one, and lethal if the top card of your deck is agility. So basically what that means is we play it, and if our next card... It wasn't, so he doesn't get the bonus. Man, we're not getting a lot of good luck. All right. Let's go ahead and trade the Iron Scale Dragon. That goes down, and I just, I don't think we're going to win, ladies and gentlemen. I, he's, he's got us beat. His deck is stronger. Ooh, he just shouted, Soltair, my favorite shout. Oh, my God, no way. Oh, my God. Draw a creature from your discard pile. Wow, this guy knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, man, this Iron Scale Dragon is such a problem for me. Okay. Well, I think we're about dead in the water, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we have here, though. Graybeard Mentor. Summon, draw a random shout from your deck. Hmm. Put a random shout into your hand. We could play Dova of the Voice and just hope to get, uh, like, uh, something really powerful. Let's do that. Do we play him here or here? I guess we'll play him here. What do you got for me, dragon? Oh my god, I forgot it was Last Gasp. I forgot he has to die to give me the shout. Well, we're dead. We're dead, but let's use the Magicka. Let's play the Greybeard. Observe. Give me a random shout, Greybeard. Drain Vitality. Ooh, give all enemy creatures negative two, negative two. That's actually, oh, it's level three, that's why. Okay, well, we, we're gonna use our, oh, we can't, oh, no, we can't use two of these on the same turn. Well, we're done, that's it. Uh, we're going to let him kill us. Take that, sir. And I'm going to say, good game. Finish me. Do it. Kill me. Make it quick. You can kill me with your Iron Dragon. That deals seven. You can attack with both of these guys. Hell, you can even attack once with the Pillaging Tribune. And then attack with the Dragon. For the extra. The waters of life. Gain one maximum Magicka. So now he's at 13. You must be cleansed. Set a creature's power and health to one. And there we go. The taste of defeat. So sad. All right. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to do one more, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to show the whole entire game, but I will show the ending.
I'll see you guys in one second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been getting well, stomped. Fun. No, I wanted to use par- Oh. Okay, you cool. I fall before me. No, y you're gonna fall to before me. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I've been getting stomped, ladies and gentlemen. I really need to refine my deck. Um, my god, everybody- I've played like four matches and everybody's just destroying me. I need to really take a look at my new cards. But at least we can end this video by playing Parthenax. Summon bonus effect when played. Yeah, put three random shouts into your hand and reduce their cost to zero. Now, if we do get Unrelenting Force, uh, we will- I fully upgrade it. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Drain your lock. Greetings. Okay. Okay. Oh! We got it. Okay, so uncommon or unsummon all enemy creatures in a lane. <sighs> we still lose, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's unre. So uh, basically, yeah, I fully upgraded my unrelenting force. So uh, it's level three. It removes all enemies in an entire lane. So see you later. They're all gone. We did it. Summon a 3 3 Sovereign Guard, uh, Sovereign Guard Hero. Let's do that. And uh, Drain Vitality. We'll use it on this person. And that's it. We lose. Good game. Finish me. Finish me. Gosh dang it. Ugh, I need to go back. Seriously. And um, yeah, refine. I, uh, man, I've been, I seriously have been getting stomped. These people are good. Oh boy, Drap yeah, negative four. Wonderful. It has been my honor. Good game. Oh man, defeat after defeat. But hey, we got level 16. Isn't that great? Yay, level up. Yeah, that's that's a victory. Okay. And we completed a quest. Play 10 actions, a test of magic. Very nice. And we got some gold for that. Uh, you can come uh, you can complete some quests uh, to get gold to buy cards and other things. Let's see, what do we get? New title earned, Mage's Guild Associate. Very nice. Bonus quest, play three prophecy cards when a rune is destroyed. That sounds really hard to complete. What we have here, a card upgrade. This is what's cool about this game, uh, The Elder Scrolls Legends, is that you can upgrade certain cards. So let's do that. Uh, we have a choice here. Dress Tormentor, so same stats. When an enemy creature becomes shackled, deal three damage to it. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Dredge Renegade, 4-4. Four, four. Guard, other friendly creatures are immune to shackle. I don't think that's going to be as useful. So I'm going to go with Dredge Tormentor. Very cool. I really like this aspect of this game. All right. That card is ours. And... Sometimes you receive a bonus card when you level up. The card depends on your avatar's race. All righty. Cool, and we are a Nord, which is why we got a Nord. That's our avatar's race. When another friendly creature attacks, Helgen squad leader gains plus one. And we got an epic card. Very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Elder Scrolls Legends and also the new Heroes of Skyrim content. Again, all of this is available as uh, at the time of you watching this video. Came out on June 29th. Over 150 new cards to play as well as a bunch of new mechanics like the shout feature really enjoy that one um also new dragons nords all that good stuff storm cloaks etc um really like the new mechanics and really like this game this game is just so solid and i'm not just saying that none of what i said uh is is drummed up because it's a sponsored video i actually do feel this way i really enjoy strategy card games and elder scrolls legends is is a really solid one and very very fun so, again, if you guys would like to play for yourself, the game is free. You can get it on Steam or through the Bethesda launcher. Uh, check the link below. And also check out the new Heroes of Skyrim content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.